Hello, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It is Muhammad Shaban, of course. <laughs> and it is uh, the 12th, January 12th, 2016. It's around 7 21 p.m. And uh, the reason I'm making this video, and there's going to be more to come. It's about apartment complexes, management companies, the mega ones, <laughs> corporate America, that they continue to commit crimes against the masses, everyone, the most vulnerable mostly, but everyone is a subject, everyone that they can get away with. And the state and the federal government is helping them. <laughs> and it to them because they are the government. They own the globe. This is Oak Tree apartment. Well, we will see the video. On or about end of 2005, beginning of 2006, I moved from Corona, Oakwood, and I have another story. I'm going to just put it on my website too. To Oak Tree. This year, I had my, I, I think it was 2005, I had my daughters moved in and stayed with me, rented this apartment. Okay. Now, I have previous experience with this company, Western National Management Company. And I try to call the Department of Unfair Employment and Unfair Housing, of course, HUD, Department of Justice. And if you would be able to file the complaint, then they will jerk you around and get you dizzy, intimidate you. If, if you have that luxury, you will get intimidated before and they will interrogate you and they will harass you and they will make threats to you all right and they will commit every crime this is the state the state okay hard forget about uh, uh, fair housing council in any county or any city <laughs> Those are funded by a management company, property management companies. They are the ones funding them. So what do you think? It is a conflict of interest that they are not going to work for the tenants. They do the same thing, intimidate, and it's, it's a fraud, crimes. And the federal government knows everything. They get you dizzy. They said who did what and when. <laughs> They're still asking me that. Not me only, but, but the people that they, they, they file or they go and file a complaint. And again, other crimes will be uh, justified. Heinous crimes because he stood up and he, he filed a complaint. They decommission you. You're out of business. You can get a room, you can get a, a business uh, office, you, you can get nothing. You don't get housing, you get you, you don't get nothing. And then they put you on the system and they hijack your children, they kidnap you. You commit every crime. Because you stood up and you said you guys are violating our rights. It's a crime. It's a crime, guys. It is. 
And everything after that is justified. And the federal government, he does it for them. The state first. This is the most developed. Because the federal government, you know, is just going along with what, you know, they do need to... But anyway, let's continue. I look at an apartment that was in special. And it was a nice... Now, they have that one, <laughs> the one I rented, down there, and they have problems, broken pipe, and it was meldew under the sink. When I moved in, but I didn't realize, of course, you know, didn't clean it and, you know, make it all look nice, and the floor was a uh, vinyl floor in the kitchen, so you can't really see unless you open under the sink and you will see. But anyway... And I start noticing snails <laughs> in the kitchen. In the kitchen. And I thought, you know, the guards left the door open. Um, it's an, it, you know, it's a first story apartment. And upstairs there is, you know. So, and it was dark and there is no sun goes in there and there is, you know, landscaping there, and, you know. But anyway, snails. And I thought, you know, I've seen it many times, and I move it, and I clean, and, you know, because they poison snails. And, of course, other insects, and then a mold, the black mold, and, you know, all of the, and are there. So, when I, when I have the problem, oh, they say, oh, wow, well, this all looks, we don't know where it comes from. Then I look, and I find that the, the pipe was broken and it's going from under the building and coming to the kitchen. And that's why the snails, you know, they come from the yard, you know. Finally, maybe, what, six months, and I kept to filing complaint and telling the management and, you know, this and that. Finally, they rented a hotel room for a week or so. For me and my children, and then uh, they fix it, and then after that, well, of course, we moved out because you know. But we moved it to another Western National apartment. I and my ex and my our children, both of us. The other one, the second one. When we moved out, my ex used to work in a, a carpet cleaning company. So she has her fellow, you know, the, she was a, a project manager. So she has, you know, the service, the truck came, you know, and cleaned the carpet. Professionally, it's a, that's what they do for a living. Big company, too. <laughs> you clean it a couple of days before we moved out so they don't charge us. Guess what? <laughs> they kept the deposit and they put us in collection. And they have to, when they keep harassing here, so I filed, you know, I called the Department of Unfair Employment and Unfair Housing, and I got the same thing, and, oh, you know, but, and, and the federal government should have all these calls, you know? They've been spying on us for the longest time. Everything should be recorded, and they all say, oh, well, this call might be... But, Recorded and uh, monitored for uh, quality control or what have you. Oh, uh, well, just we concerned about your privacy. <laughs> okay, so everything is recorded. I don't know why I have to prove this and prove. Look, documents everywhere. Look, look, guys. Look how many. This is the only for a, a week. Here and there is another pile there, and there is some pile on the floor. This is who I am. All right, this is how they tell you <laughs> proof and proof, and we don't need all of this. 
because again everything is electronically done you know and I will put the video for Google because Google is uh, you know it's cracking me up all right so if only fix it and then we'll move then you know they put us in collection and then you can rent an apartment and then you go uh, you get housing because you are homeless and uh, you know uh, <laughs> then they say oh no you have bad credit you have to pay everyone <laughs> safe credit safe credit oh no you have to have uh, two months in advance for security deposit they take this money and they imagine now the majority of people have bad credit <laughs> because if the Edison company you go to uh, the Salvation Army or one of these places for low income that is the federal government they're getting the federal that 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 fraud that fraud I'm one of them, but I'm not that fraud. I'm that org. I'm doing the work, and I'm spending my own social security money on my work. And yet they tell me, "Oh, well, you got to have this, and you got to have that, and you got to have that, and you got to have that," because uh, don't, don't if you have a developer, they are fraud, and they want to use your uh, your five hundred one c three to. Uh, <laughs> They know everything because the state is frauding the American people and getting the money and giving it to corporate America, all right, and fighting you in everything. It doesn't matter what it is. You're fighting the state and the federal government. You're not fighting your ex-employer or what have you, or the apartment complex or management or what have you. You're fighting the federal government, the state first, and then the federal government. All right, and they tell you, oh well, you know, you can file a civil lawsuit against the state in a federal court. <laughs> you can't. They say you can't. And they said the Constitution of the United States of America, and the first, and the second, and the ten, and the twenty, and the hundred, whatever amendment, and all of these. Banners that they're lifting and all that good talk and, you know, the land of the free and abused. Anyway, that's Western National Management Company. And uh, I would ask the Department of Unfair Employment and Unfair Housing to put my name my name Mohammed Shaban. That's it. That's all you need. You guys are always telling me how we're concerned about the FBI. Always, they used to call me every couple of months. Even though I I, got, I went and I knocked on their door five times, and the last time I told them I have a warrant. No, not the last time. The one before, even because I went after that a couple of more times. And they say that they still say who did what and when and what's your only oh what's your session? <laughs> and then still the concern about your posting in Facebook. What do you think of ISIS? <laughs> That's what they do. That's what they do. Anyway, Western National Management company. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Go to reference. You do anything. You know. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi